Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so I wanted to speak on this whole situation surrounding y'all boy, CJ. So I uploaded a video earlier speaking on the whole video that he uploaded to his Insta stories, you know, talking about where is his baby mama royalty, aka Charlene Young. And in that video, you know, I thought it was an old video. But then when I looked at the video again, I realized that that's how his hair is now. So no, this is not an old video. So the video that he uploaded to his YouTube went into details on exactly what happened. So allegedly, this is what happened. His sister-in-law was supposed to go pick up the twins. They were stuck in traffic and he did not want to be late to go pick the kids up. So he went on to talk about, well, I don't have a number for royalty. You know, my number has been leaked all this time you know, multiple times and I have kept the same number for eight years. I never changed my number. So he made that video guys, because he's upset that he cannot get in contact with royalty. This is what this is about. Royalty don't change that number on his ass. And now he's in his goddamn feelings. I already told you guys, he is going to always be in his feelings about royalty. Okay. So, because the sister-in-law was stuck in traffic, he decided to go to the police station to go pick up the twins. Now, just like Mama Rosie said in her um, post that she put on, on Instagram, she said that he has not been to the pickup in two months. Not only that... Royalty has not been dropping the twins off. It's been his, it's been Royalty's mom. So he is being very messy with this whole situation. He know he did not have to do that. This was totally unnecessary. CJ, your ass is too old and too grown for this. You, I mean, it's like, when are you going to grow up? When are you going to grow up? This whole back and forth with Royalty situation is getting old. You got to let royalty go. Understand that royalty has moved on and she don't want your ass. She don't want to be with you. So keep going to the to the internet to try to make it seem like she intentionally did not show up with the, with the kids was unnecessary. Because we all know royalty has not been to the drop off in two months. You know royalty mom has been dropping the kids off. So you doing that was totally, totally unnecessary he don't like that he cannot get in contact with royalty this is what this is all about y'all this is why he did what he did he called his sister-in-law and told the sister-in-law i'm gonna go pick up the twins he knew the sister-in-law was probably never caught in traffic in the first place he just said that shit you know as a reason to have a video recorded because i told you nobody's really checking for him big red his daughter and none of them nobody is feeling them the whole situation with him bringing his daughter, his baby mama, her BM and all that, it's just not working for the channel. Nobody's taking a liking to that situation. So now he has to result back to, you know, blaming royalty, you know, to get a little audience because we already know what's going over there with him and his channel. But, you know, this situation is sad. Y'all drop down to the comments. Did y'all watch the video? Because, again, I still did not watch. The only reason why I know this part of it is because I heard it from another content creator that was watching it but no i i have no desire to click his content and just listen to it because it's just it's pathetic you know he's too old for this shit and somebody should be telling him right from wrong but no they egging him on they really think it, it's their time to shine but they better understand baby you is on the time clock you're on your way back you and your whole family is on y'all way back okay but anywho y'all drop down in the comments what y'all think about this whole situation about cj alleging that royalty was late for the pickup until the next video